Alright, um, I'm gonna talk about the DC Universe Online game coming out. Um, uh, you know, a lot of people have been giving it kind of a negative feedback because, you know, the way it looks. Um, you gotta remember, they're not finished with it yet. So, give it time and it'll probably look better, um, when they're done with the finished product. So, with that being said, um, let me get my thoughts on it. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, yesterday I was online listening to a stream of the creators talk about the game and they said they wanted to, uh, make it very interactive where you can kind of meet people, which is fun, which is always fun about these online games is that you can actually meet people and talk and interact and, uh, stuff like that. You can make up your teams. I think it's going to be composed of like four teams and stuff like that. Um, pretty much everyone in the DC Universe is supposed to be in this game. Like, not everyone, down to every last person, but pretty much everyone that you know, you know, people who are familiar with the DC Universe is going to be in this game. Um, I think it's going to be for the PS3, 360, and the, uh, the computer, because having it on the Wii would be kind of pointless, because you really can't do anything, like with the game as far as the Wii goes so they want to focus on the online play and um stuff like that and it looks very fun and it's going to be one of those games where it's constantly being upgraded and you know you get new characters new outfits new stuff like that as the game goes on so like you won't need to buy a new uh a new game because you, it, it's going to upgrade itself online which is pretty cool um, kind of like Matrix Online, if you guys have played that, or Heroes vs. Villains, and stuff like that, those type of games, but it's supposed to be on a broader level. Um, I really like the character choices in here, they're, like I said, they're putting in a lot of characters in here, uh, for people who know the universe and people who don't know about DC, uh, like, they're gonna have characters like, minor characters like, say, uh, Dead Man or, uh, um, the Spectre or, you know, Calabac or stuff like that. People people who aren't familiar with the characters in the uh, comics might be like, you know, who is that? Or I never heard of this character. So it's going to be interesting for them as kind of first-time players of the, of the game and also kind of being introduced into the DC Universe. Um... They were also talking about how they wanted to make it where you can make your own costume and your own character and your own kind of team, so to speak. Uh, like I said, <clears throat> the maximum you can have is four people in your team, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they said that they wanted to make it so that you can pretty much just do your own thing. Like, you can be a hero or a villain or just kind of be in between just doing your own thing like you don't necessarily have to be in a team but you do kind of have to do something like you can't just be walking around doing random stuff like you gotta like you know save people or you gotta uh cause some kind of chaos um which is pretty cool um i think they said the mentors in the game are supposed to be superman wonder woman and Batman, uh, you know, those type of guys. You Basically, the founding members of the Justice League, they're going to be like the top guys. They're going to be helping you through that, do different missions and stuff like that. And uh, you can also type, you can also uh, fight them in the game. Like, you can fight against Batman or Superman or Wonder Woman or Green Lantern, Flash, and stuff like that. Uh, like, you're going to be able to like as the game goes on you can get new costume items you can get new uh you know skin skin tones and stuff like that like you know you're going to be able to do i think height weight um skin color eye color hair color um <clears throat> and stuff like that which is going to be very cool um uh, they did say however that you can't like make the costume how you want it like you can but it can't be like too obscure it's got to be able to work with you know you got to be able to the costumes got to look uh, kind of presentable it, it can't look too outrageous which uh, I don't know 
I kind of wish they would keep that feature because you know some people, some characters do ha- kind of have a crazy style like that. But uh, you know, that's one thing I wish they would put in the game. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I don't think you can go. I think it's just gonna be focused on Planet Earth. Like I don't think you can go to uh, Planet Dark Side or Planet. Um, uh, all these different type of planets they have, Oa and stuff like that. I think it's just gonna be focused on Earth. Uh, no different dimensions. No, no Earth one, Earth two, uh, the third world, um, and uh, different places like that. I'm hoping that you can kind of create your own city, but that's highly unlikely. Like you can create your own city in your own um, type of world. And, call it your own but I don't think they're going to put the feature in the game but that's just something I wish they would put in the game um I think you're going to start out playing as one of the characters and then you can kind of build your own well so you know it's going to be like kind of a kind of like a a, a tutorial through the game when you first play it and then as you get used to it you can just kind of do your own thing um I really like the art style. The designs for the characters look very cool. Uh, it's based off Jim Lee's artwork, which I am totally okay with because Jim Lee's awesome. Um, not really much else I can say about the game. I'm just lo- really looking forward to it. Um, like I said, you know, people are kind of, I don't know, giving the hate because of the way it looks. Uh, they're still developing the game. Like I said, I looked at a, a live stream yesterday when they were talking about it. They're still developing the game. It's still being made. Uh, you know, they're probably going to fix all that stuff, you know, so it looks more fluid when the characters move and not so glitchy and uh, stiff. So, you know, give it time, and I'm pretty sure it's going to look like a much better game when it's when it's uh, finished. Um, so... You all tell me what you think about it. Uh do you are you looking forward to it? Are you gonna buy it? Are you gonna play it or or um are you just gonna bypass it? Um The trailer is on YouTube, you know, it's out. Um if you wanna take a look at it. Um I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna play it, buy it and play it 'cause I I like those online games because you get to meet new people, uh and they have like common interests that you do um and you can kind of talk and interact and you know you know this it's a good way to meet new people which i like about these online games they're just so uh interactive and um good way to find out new things and uh you know see something you haven't seen before about the dc universe like they're talking about like they really going to go into depth about the cities and uh it's going to be like a map and show you where all these cities are all like, you know, Keystone City, Gorilla City, uh, you know, of course, Metropolis and Gotham and uh, Paradise Island and stuff like that, which I'm looking forward to. So uh, I just want to talk about the game. It's something I'm really looking forward to. I don't know when it's going to be released. They haven't set a release date. They just showed us trailers and they talked about the the the, uh development of the game so um that's all i'm gonna say about it um give me your feedback on it tell me what you think about it and we can talk about it discuss it online you know on youtube or whatever and when it comes out you know i'm looking forward to playing with some members here on youtube um that'd be kind of fun if we can do that so with that being said, I am out. I'm uh, I'm gonna let you guys discuss it and see what's up with it. All right, I'm out.